Welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be playing Detroit Become Human. Alright guys, so welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So in the last episode, we uh, saved Hank from getting shot and also the FBI and police force in the tower. So let's get into it. So are we playing as Kara? I think. I don't know. Yeah, we're playing as Kara. Alice family. Luther neutral. Yeah, I gotta prove my relationship with uh, Luther. Find help. Check backyard. Okay. Oh, there's a woman. Hello. 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 Oh, it's a man. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Hello. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Okay. So she helps androids, I guess. Her son doesn't really seem pleased. Maybe he has a bad experience with androids. I don't know. Do you think we can trust him? Trust. We don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Aww. I like how she holds my hand. Alright. Oh. Come in. Forget, forget how weird the controls are. Before I get your old big ass in here. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Oh, Adam. Hey. Hey, yo, Adam. Adam, I didn't know you were black. The fuck? I'm just joking. So, uh, that joke is, um... One of the people that watches my video is my cousin, and his name's Adam, and he's white, so. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's funny as shit. Thanks, Adam. Alright, here, Alice. Let's put you to bed, because uh, I don't want you getting sick, and, well, she is sick already, but I don't want her dying, so. And I'm sorry if I seem a little tired. I'm recording this at one. Undress. Wait, hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh, excuse me. Tuck in. Yeah. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Reassure. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Misunderstanding. It's, it's complicated. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad.
That's what Marcus is trying to do. We're trying to be, trying to get rights for Android to, and then try to be civil. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. There you You'll go. Be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. See, not I'll all humans are bad. And, dried. and not all uh, humans are bad. It's just. Kiss goodnight. Sleep tight, Alice. Ah. We'll be downstairs if you need anything. Lufor, close. All right. See, we're getting, we're becoming best buds, Lufor. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. Hey, yo, stronger. I don't think. Why are you lying to the poor girl, Lufor? You're not gonna be. She's not gonna be strong. Okay. Aw. It's like we're our family. I mean, we, technically we are, but I don't know. Alright, where's Rose at? Hey, Rose. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. <laughs> Come and have a seat, Kara. Yeah, sure. I don't think she's a bad person. I think... So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening... Something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on. But something's happening. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? It's complicated, isn't it? She she can't help us. Ways over the river. And it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Honestly, we could just stay here. I don't see anything wrong with that, but... You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! Who's this? Talk to Rose. Check what's going on. Is there like... Is there like an evil deviant here or something? What's going on? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Wait, what? Wait, there's a deviant in here? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Damn. What will I do without her? Why did she shut down? I mean, there's blue blood, so maybe she was injured. Let's let them be. So all of them are androids. Okay. Oh, there's Alice. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Aww.
It's okay. Yeah, I don't want Alice to see that. I don't want her to trauma be traumatized, you know? She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. All right. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Oh my God, Adam. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison, Adam. We've already talked about this. I, uh, no. I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? Adam, you sound like for a, a bunch old of bitch. They are not machines. They are alive. I'm alive. You're alive. They. They're nothing. Damn. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. Adam's I'm racist. I'm going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Damn, Adam's just racist, bro. Come on, man. An android racist. Damn. See Rose. Okay. <sighs> Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. Does his dad get killed by an android, maybe? But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? Thank you. You didn't have to do Stay that. Here. I won't be long. All right, all right. All right. So, let's read this. Oh, it looks like military. World War Three. Hey, yo. Hold on. Who would win? Blah, blah, blah. Something about Arctic. Blah, blah, blah. Androids. Blah, blah, blah. Something about Harry Grayson as president. There's me. Wait a minute. Hold. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. He's going to look at the, the... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no I got to change that. I got to change that. Oh, okay. Good, good. Uh, there's a reason why I want to change that. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain, but I'll explain it later. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. Yes, Carl. I mean, there's something Luther. I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. Luthor. I mean, not Luthor. Alice. I mean, talk to Adam. Yeah, let's talk to Adam's bitch ass real fast. Adam's clearly a racist, and we need to address that. Misogynistic bastard. I am sorry what happened to your dad. I just... I can see why you're angry. We don't want to cause any problems, we just want to get across the border. I'm still a little bitch. Check on Adam. Wait a minute, did I just hold on? What did what did I just hear? I heard something. Christmas ornaments. But I, I heard something. What was that? Yeah, wait, what was that? The police. It's the police. It's fine, it's fine, Adam. Take Alice and hide. We have to open the door. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. I Come on, Alice. This is gonna happen. I knew it. Shut up, Adam, you bitch. Hide evidence. Okay. 
Adam, quit being a little bitch. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. All right. All right. High deviant evidence. What, what's the last deviant evidence? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Is it this? I think it's this. What is it? I don't know what the last deviant evidence is. Wait, what is this? Oh, right here. Okay. I am sorry, officer. It's just... I'm retarded. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you yeah. mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, sure. May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Yeah, how do I make... Is anyone else in the house? Uh, Alice. There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? Uh, no. No. There are no androids here. There you go, buddy. Here's your coffee. Hope you like it. Black. That's how I like it. <laughs> uh, just joking. Don't act. Don't rouse this. Suspicion. Everything's fine, Adam. Just this ain't my first rodeo. Would be like a coffee. Like I said, it's black. Most people like sugar or cream in it, but you know. You know what would be funny if he was actually an android cop this whole time? Suspicion level was zero. Alright. Yep. So he's looking at the that right there, which uh, <laughs> is the, the journal thing. If I would have kept it on Kara and he looked, he would have saw it was me. So... What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Adam, you're about to blow this. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. All right, you too, officer. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, washing machine. It's nothing. The the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Damn. Let's go. I got it. First try, baby. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. 
trust it's him. Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Yes, sir. We get to cross the border. Oh, I got another achievement. Nothing to see here. So maybe I... Oh, yeah, that's why. It, yeah, when I played on my playthrough a long time ago, I actually got Kara arrested. Yeah, I, I was an evil dick in my last playthrough. Oh. What the hell is this? This is like some evil type shit. broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Hey, yo, oh, nice drip. And now what are we gonna do? I think I know what we're gonna do. If I remember correctly, it is. Yeah, it's this mission. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. Yeah, it's this mission. Us like merchandise. <sighs> this mission can go sideways or it can go awful. Stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike simultaneously. At two oh my God! Why do I have North with me? We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I don't trust North. Like, North is too bloodthirsty. And I mean, I understand her kind or androids. I've been waiting a long time for this. Well, I mean, androids have been treated like dog shit, but the thing is, that doesn't justify, like, spilling blood of innocent humans. You know, it's just. Well, I mean, I'm an android, so I should think like one. But the thing is, spilling blood is an eye for an eye, the world will go blind. It's basically the same, so I'm, I'm just trying to be a good person, unlike my last playthrough where I was an absolute It's okay, chad. they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Yeah, no shit. That was a bus. The store's over here. I'm about to buzz. Wait, hold on. We need to free this brother right here. Convert. Join us, brother. You are free. Welcome to the cause. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Secure the area. Get into the store. All right. We're going to sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Okay, I see. We could grab it here. No. I, I, I think I know where we're going to get it, right here. Yeah, right here. This is probably the only spot you can probably get it from. Yep. Boop. 
Boop, 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 boop. Re reconstruct. Let's see here. Okay. Right here. Right here. And then, yep, let's do that. Nice. Oh. Yeah, we need to get that drone. So, oh, oh shit, it's coming. Guess. Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess I overestimated oh, you. Oh, no. Shit. Shit. Hide. They're coming, Marcus. Marcus! Act natural. Come here. Oh, no. I can't believe I did that. I'm used to Xbox controls still, so I. Uh, wrong button. What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. I'm sorry. No. Oh. All right. You know what? Fuck her. I never really cared for her anyway. All right, you come here. Join us. You are free. I can't believe I fucked that up, bro. I'm just gonna convert as many of them as I can. You are free. You are free. All right, so. Scout the area, okay. Exactly what we need to ring the store. Alright. How the hell do we get it? North, get away from me. I don't like you right now. You're nothing but a nagging bitch. Hey guys. You wanna join the cause? You're free now. You're free as well. Welcome. Yeah, I can't believe I did that, man. <laughs> Should bother us now. All right. Really? What are we waiting for? Wait, what's happening? Oh, they're gonna jump it, aren't they? Okay, this time it's X. Okay. Ooh. I keep fucking it up, man. I know North hates me. Wait, what's okay, this? now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Check his plan. I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. All right, I have eight minutes. We have plenty of time. So, all right, so let's make sure everything is secure and we got everything. So,
Jacket one hundred and fifty dollars. What the fuck? So what is this? Can I not go down there and interact with the influence? Probably not. Wait, what? Wait, what? What was that? It said something. Analyze the store window. Okay. That's probably what I should go do real fast. You see the alarm system? No. Our alarm system is right here. Identified network. Found it. It is where? Probably where those one dudes are, aren't they? It is, isn't it? Network access located. All right, boys, I'm gonna have to ask you to, to stop working on the network because we need to fuck with it. All right. The fuck? Join us. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Neil, okay. Nice. All right, so now we can ram the store. Nice job, Marcus. All right, North likes me a little bit now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Imagine I just ram into the store without turning off the power. Uh, yeah. North is. I don't know. I know later in the game that you can do so with North. And she becomes like your best friend, but that's if I think if you be a dick the whole time, so it's not worth Looks it. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. All right, so the road is closed, so that's good. So that means the cops won't come from that direction, because I think if shit hits the fan, then uh, the cops will come. So I think we're good. Fun. Okay. Nice. We just kill an android in the process. the androids join us sister you don't have to obey them you're free you join us now Simon? 
So that's her model. North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. Why she doesn't want to awaken herself? She'll be the new North. Fuck the other one. Your dream partner. Oh, it's because she's a uh, she's a, a, slit, a sex model, I think. That's why. Hello, my android brethren. Death to the interlopers. <laughs> my name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you. I'm, I'm with you! I'm with you! We're with you, Marcus! Yes! All right, North likes me again. Jericho, leader. Oh shit! Then follow me. Hey yo. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Oh no, Marcus, what are you doing? Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent. Oh shit. Oh no. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. We're not destroying. We want to be pacifists. Yes. Alright. What is this? Tag. Yes. Uh, the symbol for uh, peace. We want peace. Oh shit, I gotta do this now. We want peace for the, the humans and androids. We don't want them to be... Oh, we have a dream. There. Equal rights for androids. Yes, sir. Norse probably like, what the fuck are you doing? We should be being aggressive to our masters, you know, but fuck North. Tag uh, symbol. Uh, tag slogan. Equal rights for androids. This mission is kind of cool. I forgot how badass this was. But also, I'm a retarded as shit. Alright, so... Pack. Should we break this? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to break it, because if we break it... Shit. Let's 
Let's do something with the cars. What should we do? Move on road. Move on road. I'll help you. Just to be a nuisance to the humans. Let's push all the cars out in the road. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, we can tag the cars. Hold on. Tag the cars. Yes, sir. Equal rights for androids. Passive is 100%. Alright. Perfect. The screens, Marcus. Uh, hi, Jack. Get out of my way, North. Get out of my way. We did it. Hello, Simon. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Back to Jericho, everyone. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Yeah, well, that's true. It, it goes both ways. If, if you can't peacefully talk to someone, then violence is the answer. But right now, it's just peace. So here's all the cops. North. Oh no. Oh no, is this what I think it is? It is. Oh no. North. You're right, what happened? North. They killed them. Oh. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? The cops. Oh no. Oh no, did they kill him? I mean, it's sad that the androids died, but the thing is, you cannot... <sighs> oh no. We're not... If it gives me the choice to kill the cops, I'm not killing them. It's just one cop, isn't it? Yeah. People, Marcus. Oh, it's two of them. Justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Oh, he gave me a gun. Do you have a warning? Do this. No. Please. Ah. Please. They, the... Spare. We can't kill him. It's just wrong. Eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. And the thing is, if we killed them, we would have been just as bad as the humans. Honestly. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores, and they're still investigating. Two uh, policemen something. were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Well, there goes the media going out of proportion again. Oh, I got an achievement. Send a message. So I never got any of this shit. I don't know. I don't remember doing any of this stuff, though. I mean, I remember this mission in particular, but... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's Hank. Wait a minute. 
Oh, I know where we're at. This mission's fucked up. If I remember correctly, if it is this mission. Last time we met Anderson, you tried to kill me. Is everything okay? No, I'm just kidding. I saved you, Anderson. I'm just joking. Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. So they know about Marcus. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Ah uh, ha ha ha! Very funny, Anderson. Because if there's a glitch, I'm a robot. I mean, I'm a have a deviant. The, the thing is about Connor, he hasn't broken into a deviant yet. That's the thing. <gasps> it's the girl from the title I, screen. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Damn. Okay. Damn, 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 damn. 100% this dude probably fucks his androids. Well, I mean, he... he... I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the dude that made androids, by the way. If I remember correctly, he made the androids. He's a founder. Okay. Well, I knew he, he built... Wait, is that Amanda? It is! Amanda. Stern Amanda. Wait a minute. She's dead. So the, the woman in the, the, the thing where Connor goes, who's actually a fucking android? Nice girl. Sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Hey, yo. Connor. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Space tourism on the rise. You're Might about as well to just meet read. your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Yeah. Impatient. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes right. I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Oh, we know what Hank would do. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Yeah, he's gonna shoot him. <laughs> Fortune teller. Wait, what was that? Fortune teller something. All right, I'll just read all that because I was curious. So, what the hell is this? It's like a living painting that's moving. It's kind of weird. Can I talk to Anderson at all or no? Elijah, we'll see you now. All right, Android. Get information from Kamsky. All right. Oh. Mr. Kamsky. Is that just blood? a moment, please? That's blood, I think. Or it's a blood pool. It's one of the two. I actually have one in my Sims game. Don't ask me how I know how to make a blood pool in the Sims, but... So I guess he has a tie of blondes, so... I don't know. I, some some blonde girls are hot, but I don't really find them attractive that much. I'm more into brunettes and uh, 
what was it? Um, yeah, I think that's just it, Burnett. Oh, yeah, you can tell this dude's a douchebag. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Uh, help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Trouble. Neutral. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? Oh, her name is Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Hmm. Young and beautiful forever. Okay. Yeah, he totally fucks his android. A flower that will never wither. Yeah, sick fuck. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? Oh, he has a gun. With a soul. Answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. <sighs> no. I can't shoot her. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. That's the thing. How does he know about my mission? Solving being in this android. You showed empathy. So, wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. So he he left Cyber Life, but the thing is, he knows that You'll have to that I, I got my mission. Will he betray your own people or stand up against your creators? 
What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. All right. There's something off about him. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. And there it is. The secret ending. Why didn't you shoot? Oh God, Anderson, don't give me I shit. I saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. Shut it, Anderson. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yay, let's go. Alright, well, I'm going to end the video here. Oh, I just got an achievement. Kingship. Hank fought Connor, made the right decision. Alright. So I could have killed the android, and then something interesting would have happened. But yeah, like I said, I'll end the video here. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.